Hey guys, welcome back to the Barndo channel. This is Charlie Downs with 1845 Barndominiums. Taking a break today and coming into the office to talk to you guys a little bit about the golden question that we get from just about every customer. How much does it cost to build a barn dominium with 1845 barn dominiums? So there's a lot of answers to that question. It's hard for us to give you just a solid number across the board with every build. So we're gonna to talk to you today about different phases of the build, uh, what each one of those phases cost, and then how we break down the cost of your heated and cooled area, your porches, garages, if you wanna shell, uh, and things like that. So we're gonna go into a little bit of detail today and try to give you kind of a price range of a price per square foot for a barn dominium with 1845 barn dominiums. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that now. You can leave questions or comments in the comment area below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Check us out on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Those are 1845 barn dominiums. And then of course, visit our website if you'd like to get some information on getting your project started with 1845 barn dominiums. So let's get started digging into how much does it cost to build a barn dominium with 1845. So the first question we want to cover today is how much is a turnkey build with 1845 barn dominiums? Probably 90 to 95 percent of the customers that we get and online forms that we get. Thank you for those, by the way. Uh, the forms that we get and the questions that we get are how much is a turnkey build? We do the majority of our builds are turnkey builds. We can do shells and things like that. That's that's easy for us to accomplish. But a lot of the customers that we get want to know what a turnkey cost is. So when we send that bid out, a lot of times that's including granite countertops. Uh, vinyl plank floors, you've got your custom cabinetry in there, and then most of the bids that we start with, we start with cultured marble showers and uh, tub shower combinations in that bid. So there are a lot of things that can change the cost per square foot on a turnkey build. Every time we add, say, a sink, uh, a toilet, a shower, more cabinetry, anytime we add to that floor plan or add to that overall bid, it's gonna change the price per square foot. So it is very hard for us as a turnkey company to give you just a solid number that's gonna be across the board, no matter what you build, this is gonna be the price per square foot. That is an impossible question for us to answer. So a lot of you notice that when you ask those questions on YouTube and TikTok and things like that, it is very hard for us to answer that question just because of the finish outs are different for every build. But if we look at a standard build with granite countertops, uh, custom cabinetry that we let you basically design and get installed, and then the vinyl plank floors, we're looking at around 165, could be up to $175 per square foot, depending on the finish out. Now a little bit more into that would be the bigger that house is and the more open space that we have in that house, the lower the cost per square foot will be for that home. If we take a three bedroom, two bath house and try to kind of squeeze that into a thousand square foot or 1200 square foot, then all of a sudden the price per square foot is gonna start climbing because there's not as much open space and there's more going on on each square foot of that home. So for turnkey build, everything installed and we take care of septic, HVAC and everything, that would be around 165 to $175 per square foot currently. All right, so the next thing we're gonna cover is a, a very common question that we get is can we just, are we interested as a company, since we do a lot of turnkey builds, are we interested in doing just a shell for a customer? The answer to that question is yes, absolutely. So we actually can bid a job out basically in three phases. One thing we don't like to do with a shell quote is uh, kind of start the project, maybe pause, have you do some things, we come back, we really don't wanna kind of get into that. We would rather have you tell us what phase of the build would you like us, to, like us to go through, and then you do the finish out or contract it out somewhere else. So there are three different phases that we uh, commonly bid. The first one would be a shell quote that is just that, it's a shell uh, with windows included, no electrical, nothing like that. We would have concrete, dirt work, rough in plumbing, and then the shell of the building and get it in the dry that cost would be roughly around $55 uh, per square foot. And so the second thing that we show on the same bid, when we send a shell quote, we're gonna show you all three of these. The second uh, phase that we would do is we're gonna do the shell, but we're gonna go ahead and do wood framing while we're there. The, a lot of times the customers ask us, because we can do that wood framing in three or four days, they go ahead and ask us to go ahead and do that while we're there. And so if we do your concrete, your dirt work, your rough in plumbing, uh, your shell windows and wood framing, you're looking at around probably $60 a square foot. That's kind of a rough estimate there. And then finally, if you want us to go ahead and do spray foam. Now, the way we do our system is we're gonna go ahead and do the shell, wood framing. We're gonna let our mechanical trades come in and do their stack out with the wood framing, and then we spray spray foam. 
Now, if customers would like to have their own electricians and other mechanical trades come in, we can go ahead and spray that spray foam after the wood framing, spray spray foam all throughout the building, and then you can have your contractors come in and finish you out. If we're gonna go through the wood framing and spray foam phase, you're looking at more like $65 per square foot for that shell. So we are more than willing to do the shell for you. We'd absolutely love to send you a quote for that. Um, and so if you're interested in that, just let us know, but you're looking for anywhere from 55 to $65 a square foot for a shell quote from 1845. So the next phase of the build that we wanna talk about in a turnkey quote are porches. Now, before I move forward, we can do porches in that shell quote as well. We can add those in there in the preliminary drawings and add those wherever you need. We can also do carports, we can do garages. All of that can be included in a shell quote as well. But if we're talking a turnkey quote, uh, what's gonna be included on the porches areas are the concrete, the steel framework, of course the roofing, and then the soffits that are gonna go underneath those porches and then you've got electrical in there. Now, we can also uh, insulate those porches. We have had customers that ask us to spray foam that because of the heat here in Texas. Um, and then it, also some people, I've actually had customers tell me they don't like the sound of rain on the metal roof. And so they wanted to try to spray foam it to kind of dampen that. Uh, so we can do that. But if we're looking at just the steel, uh, the soffits, the framework, the roofing and the concrete and everything for porches, we're looking at probably around 29 to $30 per square foot for porches. So the way that we price our houses is we do a heated and cooled cost, which is that 165 to $175 a square foot. So then the next thing that we're gonna talk about are your porches. Porches are about 29 to $30 per square foot. And then also included in that porches cost is if you ask us, you, if you've ever requested a form or requested information from us, you see that we ask about carports. So carports are listed under the porches section because they are not enclosed. A carport to us is just an open area steel framework with roof soffits electrical just like a porch so we roll all that in there so carports are going to run you about 29 or 30 dollars per square foot as well and we'll talk next about the garages and shops those are parking areas that can be used but there's added cost in there because those are enclosed insulated and a little bit more electrical in there so porches about 29 30 dollars per square foot with 1845. So the next thing in our price breakdown with 1845 barn mediums is gonna be the garage and the shop area. So when we start talking to customers, we're gonna ask them about their heated and cooled. We ask them about what their porch spaces and carport area are. The next thing we wanna know is, is there any enclosed parking like a garage or a shop that's gonna be attached or included in that build? So if we look at a garage or shop area, what's gonna be included in there is the dirt work, your concrete, uh, any, any rough in plumbing or anything that would be involved in there if we have a sink or bathroom or anything in the shop area. Then we're looking at the electrical, the insulation, and of course all the sheeting if we have any windows, doors, overhead doors, all of those can affect the cost. And like we said earlier, anything that you add into that garage immediately changes the price per square foot. It's, it's hard for us to nail down an exact number, but if we're talking in general with a garage or shop, say it's a 30 by 30 with a single or two 10 by 10 overhead doors even, a walkthrough door and a window with three inch vinyl insulation, which is standard. Uh, you're looking at around $55 to $60 a square foot. Just depends on what we're gonna do as far as the finish in there. Are we spray foaming or anything like that? Now, one thing I would like to kind of clarify a little bit is when we do a garage or a shop area, and when we initially bid that, there is no wood framing or anything like that. The, the fact that we're spanning like we do with steel in those big open areas, it's quite an expense to put floor trusses or put any kind of framework across that opening uh, to do sheetrock walls or finished out walls in there. The easiest thing for us to do with a steel structure is do eight or 10 foot liner panels on the inside. So if you don't want the exposed vinyl insulation or spray foam insulation, if you don't like that look, we can put liner panels to match the rest of the building on the inside to give it a clean look. But that's something that we just kind of discussed with the customer and that's kind of an add on inside that garage or shop area. But overall, for the garage and shop area, we're looking at about $55 to $60 per square foot added to your overall cost. So one of the things that we include in our price breakdown is what you'll see is the options tab. So there are a lot of things that we kind of file under our options pricing. And the reason that they're called that is because they are just that. They're options that you can add to your build. Examples would be uh, RV hookup, 50 amp breaker box. Uh, you can have generators. We could do fireplaces exterior stone, uh, you can opt not to have soffits on your porches, you can opt not to have gutters and downspouts. So there are a lot of things that are really add-ons to the home 
that are not standard in, in one of our 1845 barn dominiums, but we list those out and we really want the customer to be able to see those, what they cost, what they're adding to the overall cost of the home, and then tell us, yes, I would like to add that, or no, I'm not interested in that. Again, we are building a custom barn dominium, a custom dream home for our customers, and we want them to be able to tell us everything that they want in that home. So when we go to that options tab, there's not really a price per square foot for that. Uh, it's just based on what you select, but we want our customers to have every option available to them as far as what they want to put in their home. So if you come to 1845 and you have your dream home designed, we want to be able to put everything that you want inside that home. So if you get a price breakdown from us and you see options, those are just add-ons. Those are all the things that are added onto maybe what would be considered kind of a standard build for us uh, that the customer has asked for or would like to include in their build. But it does add to the overall cost of the barn dominium. The last thing that we cover with customers is the dirt work. So the process that we go through as far as getting a dirt quote for our customers is we need a set of preliminary plans to go off of so that we can tell our dirt contractors what the dimensions of the pad will be and what's going to be included in that dirt work quote. So what we do is we go out with a customer and do a site plan at their home site. We ask our customers one of the, and if I could give you guys a piece of advice, if you're getting ready to build and you have property, mark the home location. Even if it's wooded, grown up, and it's hard to get to, take some flag tape, spray paint, something out there and mark where you want that home to sit. Because it's very important that we know that footprint of that home will fit on that property based on what you have and how much you own. So what we do is we take that floor plan we do a site plan, we, and then we go in here, and we have dirt contractors that work for us here at 1845 Barn Dominiums. We can do everything from land clearing uh, to demolition, culvert install, driveway install, you name it, we can do it. So we actually ask them to go out and meet the homeowner at the job site and talk to the homeowner. What do you want? Are we doing driveway paving? Are we doing aprons on your garage? Are we uh, doing just gravel? Do we need to install a culvert? Are we removing trees, demoing, anything like that? But we want to talk to the homeowner. We want to make that property look exactly like you envision it with your home sitting on it. And so once we can get that dirt number back from our uh, contractors, we're going to include that in our final price. We're going to sit down with that homeowner, go through a spec sheet and talk about every detail of that home. And now we're going to give you a final cost of what it takes to build your dream home with 1845 Bar Dominiums. So the very last thing I want to cover uh, today in this video is our timeline. That's another golden question that we get, whether it's emails, phone calls, uh, in-person uh, co contacts with customers. And so we always get asked, Miss Marcy, I know you're watching this video. She came in and one of the first things they wanted to know is how long is it going to take to build? They are ready to build. And so it usually takes us between six and eight months to get a build done. If everything goes great, it's going to take us about six months. Uh, if we have rain or anything like that, it can take up to eight months. But our typical timeline is it takes us, we've got about maybe a four week lead time right now as far as getting started. Um, but then we get concrete dirt work going and then we let our concrete sit and cure while we're getting steel fabricated. But overall, once that building goes vertical, it goes really, really quick. That timeline speeds up considerably. So overall for us to build with 1845 Barn Dominiums, you're looking at about an eight month lead time just to be safe. Uh, from start to finish for your barn dominium. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our video today. Again, we just kind of wanted to take a break from this Texas heat. We wanted to hang out in the office today in the air conditioning, but we thought it'd be really important to kind of update our pricing with you guys because we have so many of you that are watching our channel now, and we are so thankful for each one of you guys uh, subscribing and watching our videos. But we, we always try to be upfront and honest and transparent with you about our pricing and what's going on with 1845 Barn Dominiums. So we just wanted to take some time to break that down for you today and give you our current cost. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that now. We would love to hear from you guys. Uh, we're growing each and every week and we're very thankful for that. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up, more homes being built, and we've got a lot more videos coming up. So if you want to get notifications and watch those builds and those processes, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Those are 1845 Barn Dominiums as well. And then, of course, our website. If you or anybody else you know would love to get the process started with 1845, uh, you can go to our website, 1845barndominiums.com, fill out a request a quote form, and then give us some information about your project. Let us know where you are and kind of what that project entails. And we would love to get the process started with building your dream home with 1845 Barn Dominiums. Thanks for watching this week. We'll see you guys again next time. Thank you.